we've got a two giraffe. Now, the way that I've unfortunately parked, I can't show you now how the bottoms are, are glued together, and that's such a typical stance when young males are sparring. And they normally will touch their rear ends together, and then you can see that, and stand at sort of a V-shape to one another. Ah, oh, there we go, and then, well, use your neck to swing around and hit the other giraffe. But they're both very young. You can see there's a huge age difference of a couple of years. Obviously, the one that's looking at us now being the older one, and this cheeky one <laughs> who is playing around much younger and obviously uh, quite frisky and has lots and lots of energy. But it's important. We know how important play fighting is for animals in order for them to start developing, strengthening muscles. Oh, and Izzy, you were actually hoping to see a giraffe neck fight. Well, I don't think this is going to escalate to a point where, uh, you know, they're going after females. This is just young boys. Um, <clears throat> These are just the young boys playing around. I mean, you can see it's not anything serious. They're quite gentle about it. In fact, they stop, they have a little look around at us. And, um, and then that's really all. Well, they're looking at all of you now. Do you want to ask a question, giraffe? No. I'm going to go back to sparring. That's fine. That's what giraffe do best, I suppose. But yeah, this is really, really wonderful. I haven't seen it for a while. The last time that I saw it, I was at Juma, in fact. And we had an amazing sighting. Maybe some of you remember it. Well, my favorite one was we must have had about was it three or four giraffe, young males, all standing with one another. And, and sparring and swinging next, it was a pretzel of a giraffe. Maybe you remember and you've got screenshots. Ah, Fluizi, who is all the way in Juma, says that she remembers. It was a really fantastic sighting. It was in the Muluati, actually. It was a lovely day. It might have been even a rehearsal for, for TV. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that could have been what it was. But they're a beautiful color, aren't they? I love how their heads are so much lighter than the rest of their bodies and their undersides. Now, Riti, thank you for all your questions today. And if you'd like to ask questions, just as Riti has, remember you can hashtag Safari Live or chat to us on YouTube. And it was another question about the giraffe, and it was, does the spot pattern or the, the spot size and color help age a giraffe? I suppose it's hard to really say definitely color of the entire giraffe, because remember, as male giraffe get older, they start to produce a lot more testosterone, which then... Uh, enhances their colors. I mean, in the Sabi sand, we've seen a couple of males who are almost completely black, you know, really incredible. And I haven't seen a very mature bull uh, just yet, uh, the Maasai giraffe, so I'll keep an eye out. So I want to see if they go as dark as the southern giraffe, which is the species we get in South Africa. Uh, in terms of spot size, of course, like anything, they, they'll they stretch as they get older, so they start off quite compact. <laughs> Look at this, they're really adamant, aren't you? <laughs> this is so funny. I mean, it's not really so. It's actually more like a massage. He's probably saying, come on, Frank, I told you, right shoulder, near the wither, on the neck. Work that area. <laughs> I don't know if that's what, the thing that a giraffe would say. Anyways, we're going to carry on with our search, though, and go and find the lions, because I'm excited to see what they're up to. Tristan has arrived at Twin Dams. I wonder if he's got a spotted surprise yet. Well, <laughs> I'm not quite at Twin Dams yet. I'm on Twin Dams Road, but not at Twin Dams. In fact, I'm still very far from Twin Dams at this stage. I'm right on the northern side of the road because we did a loop round to check if there was any sign of Tingana coming further north, which there wasn't, except that there was a track for a male leopard going north pretty f close if you drew a straight line from where I had those tracks crossing into Buffalo's Hook. So I think it might